A blessed evening, each and everyone. Once again, it's time for us right now to spend a few minutes for us to listen to the message of the Word of God. And before we will start, let us bow down our heads first and let us pray. Let us close our eyes. Most gracious and loving Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for this opportunity that once again we will, we will be fed up by your Word. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you, for, thank you for opening up our minds of understanding. Thank you for your wisdom and for your knowledge upon us right now. Thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name and by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen and amen. Praise God, my dear beloved brethren in the Lord. Um, we are so much blessed by the God that we are serving. He is a good, He is a faithful God. And in our message right now, uh, our God is a mighty God. He is the God that will unlock every closed doors in our lives for us, His chosen people. Amen. Uh, let us not forget that in the in the New Testament, in the book of John, chapter 10, verse 9, it says there uh, that Jesus said, I am the door of the ship. Amen. He is the door wherein each and every one can enter and can come out and find green pastures. Amen. And in our text and our scripture also, that we are basing this message right now in the book of Acts, chapter 12, starting from verse 4 down to verse 7. This is the story of the Apostle Peter. Amen. There is a, a king, King Her Herod, wherein he was so pleased when he was able to kill the Apostle James, the brother of John. And because of that, thought came again in his mind to kill Peter. And before that happens, he commanded that Peter will be, that he will have to get Peter and uh, bring them into prison. And in that situation, when Peter was in, in that prison, he was being guarded. He was being guarded by four squads of soldiers. Amen. In, in each and every squad, it's composed of four soldiers. Amen. And in the place of Peter, he, he was in the middle and in, in both sides two soldiers, both sides. And not only that, he was also being chained. He was, his hands was being ch uh, chained with iron, amen. But in spite of that, Peter has had no any worries. He never complained. He was able to sleep well. Amen. In verse 5, it says there, Something was happening. Amen. While Peter was in prison, here comes the brethren in the house of Mary. They were all gathering. They were all praying for the deliverance of Peter. Amen. Because in the following day, Peter will be killed by Herod. Amen. So, what these brethren did, they had overnight prayer. Amen. They prayed for the deliverance of Peter. And so therefore, God sent forth an angel in that prison. And that angel said to Peter, Arise, wake up and arise. And so Peter, while hearing, accompanied with that statement of, an, of the angel, 
the chain that was being bound by Peter's hand fell off. Amen. So Peter followed the angel and they went out from the prison. While they passed by in these uh, four squads of uh, soldiers, no one was awakened. All of them were asleep until they reached that, that door that is uh, made of iron. Amen. That, that was the last door. While they reached in front of that door, automatically that door was being opened. And that was the work of God. In answer to the prayers of the brethren for the deliverance of the Apostle Peter. Amen. Let us also consider in our own lives. Amen. There are so many lockdowns. There are so many locked doors in our lives. Amen. Closed doors in our lives. Like for instance, locked doors for our fin financial blessings. Locked doors for our physical healing. Amen. From sickness and diseases. Locked doors for our happiness for our deliverance, for our victories, and even for our success. Those are locked doors that we have in our lives. Amen. Like Peter, it will also happen to us. Amen. No matter how hard it is, no matter the door is being filled with iron, it is being locked, it, was, it is being locked with iron. Amen. Nothing is too hard for God. Nothing is impossible with our God. Amen. Not only that He is the door that we can enter in and we can get out, but He is, only, he is also that back door waiting for us. Amen. Don't worry, beloved. Never think that in every situation, that you are praying, that you are waiting for something, and that you are thinking that there's no more any chance for you, that this door, this locked door will be opened. Reject it in your mind that those locked doors, always remember, those locked doors will never remain forever. Amen. It will not remain forever. Because our God that we are serving, He is a purpose. He has a plan for each and every one of us. When there are times that we are waiting for a long time, that is because God is molding us. Amen. He is molding us. What God sees in us is that once we enter in, in that open door, as we receive it, as we enter in and we will receive according to what we desire in our hearts, we will no longer be chains. We are already molded. Amen. And God is already, we are already worthy to receive it. We are already worthy to enter into it. Amen. So, in our lives, let's consider the life, the life of the Israelites when they were in Egypt. During those times, they were being in bondage. They were enslaved in the, in, in the place of Egypt for 430 years. Amen. They were experiencing so many hardships. Amen. The way the Egyptians treated them is so cruel. Amen. They suffered a lot. And we have to remember, beloved, that in every generation, God is preparing somebody. He's preparing a person, a man, somebody. That, 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 that locked door will be opened. Like Peter. In the life of Peter, God is using an angel. Amen. But in the, in the lives of these Israelites, 
in the nation of Egypt. God is using the life of Moses. Amen. To make the long story short, Moses was already there in Egypt. He was raised in the palace of Pharaoh. Amen. Until such time that uh, God is already preparing him to be the deliverer of his people. There, there was something that happened while he was there in, in Egypt that caused him to leave, to leave Egypt. He went to Horeb, Horeb and there he met God calling him from the burning bush. Amen. And there he received the commandment of the Lord and God used him to be the deliverer of his people. So he went back to Egypt, amen, full of God, amen. And at first, the Pharaoh never allowed the, the, the Israelites to, to live, amen. But because God showed his power, amen. So it happened that they were able to leave the place, amen. So from Egypt, they were in the wilderness. Amen. And imagine, beloved, instead of traveling that wilderness to the promised land that God will send them, instead of traveling for a few days, it reached, uh, their travel reached to 40 years. Amen. But within that period of time, 40 years, we can just imagine God uh, provided them everything, even their clothes, their sandals. It never wore out. Amen. And um, so what happened? 40 years they were there. They were being set free from the tyranny of Egypt. For 430 years, God used Moses. But now they they were they are stagnant in the wilderness forty years another forty years amen so it seems that these Israelites amen they can they will they will they will lose their hope amen it's already a very long time for them that this door this this promised land that God uh, promised to them they can enter in. But God has never, God has never mistaken, amen. There is no any accident in all of his plans. He has a purpose, amen. So in the wilderness, there, he knew their minds and their hearts. They rebelled and it happened that Moses, together with, the, with those uh, old people, they were left in the wilderness and it's only through the leadership of Joshua and the younger generations they were able to enter the promised land. Amen. So it takes for a long years for them to enter the promised land. It is being closed for them. But in God's perfect time they were able to enter. Amen. Let us also consider in our own lives. Amen. Even if how many years that we are that we are been we are waiting that that locked doors that closed doors will be opened, amen. These uh, stories of the Bible that we are reading that we are hearing every now and then, this will give us an encouragement, hope that god will also do great things in our lives amen because god has his own perfect time amen there's a saying that that goes uh, the longer is the waiting the greater is the blessing amen our waiting is our blessing so we really need to be patient we really need to endure to prevail in prayer 
in our service to the Lord. Amen. Never give up, but continue to move on. Amen. Because God is the purpose. Not only that, uh, He is there out. He is there on the, on the back door, ready to open that door for us. Amen. As He is waiting for us. Amen. Because He wants to see that our lives, we are being molded. Amen. And by the time we can enter in that place, as we enter and we can receive it, we are so much worthy. Amen. So, this is what happened, beloved. Brethren in the Lord. Amen. Our God that we are serving is a God that will unlock all closed doors for our own lives. Amen. So, never give up. Continue. Be patient. Endure. Persevere. For in God's perfect time, He will open the black door for us. Amen. God never fails. He is faithful enough for us. Amen. He is so faithful. He will never reject us. He will never forsake us. Amen. Just move on. Continue. Amen. Because God is doing great things for us. Amen. So this is the word of God for all of us. And I pray that this uh, message will remain in our hearts. And this will keep us a, a strength or encouragement that we have to move on forward. That we will never give up. But instead, we have to be encouraged and we have to be strong enough. Because God has his own perfect time for us. And, that, and those locked doors in our lives, amen, will be opened. Amen. Because God is in control. He is the only one that can open all those locked doors in our lives. And remember, beloved, every door that God is opening, every closed doors that God is opening for us, no man can shut it. God is in control. Amen. So, my dear beloved brethren in the Lord, this is the message of the word that I'm going to leave to you. And uh, I hope and I pray that in this uh, message, amen, in the life of Peter, in the life of the Israelites, amen, as we compare our, ourselves, as we serve the Lord, amen, this will give us an encouragement, amen. This is the word of God. Let us pray. Most gracious and loving Father, we thank you so much, Lord, for once again, for reminding us that although we have also locked doors in our lives, but we know and we believe that you are there for us, waiting for us, waiting for our coming, waiting for us. So thank you so much, Father, that not only that you are the door that we can enter in and come out, and find green pastures, but you are also at the, the back door. You are our doorkeeper. You are always there watching us. And in your perfect time, you will open that, and the, that locked doors in our lives. Thank you so much, Father. And I pray for all those that are watching right now, continue to bless them, continue to protect them, continue to give them encouragement <clears throat> with regards to your word that we are hearing right now. Father, I commit to you these precious lives into your mighty hands. All these things I ask in the mighty name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. Amen and amen. Praise God. Beloved, if you are still new in this channel, don't forget to share it yet to others. Amen. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for you to be always updated with our next video.
Thank you for watching. God bless you always. Amen and amen.